Hello friends, so this is TK Gautam and welcome to you in our YouTube channel Interview Point and thank you for joining Interview Point. So in this video I am going to discuss about leveled for loop in Java. Okay, so now let's get started without wasting our time. So I have created a class here, uh, class leveled for loop. So in this I have created a main method. This is my main method. So now I am going to write the uh, for leveled for loop. Okay. So suppose uh, my first example, this is my first example about the level for loop. So suppose I am giving here LA level 1. Okay. So level 1, just syntax is similar to for loop. So for, we are writing here for, okay, for and your condition. So first statement, so integer i is equal to 1. Okay. Initialization after that what is condition so i is equal to 1 to i less than equal to suppose i want to go to less than or equal to 5 okay less than equal to 5 and after that i want to increase the value of i okay so now after that the this is the first okay so after that what i want to do here i want to uh, create one more level here inside this so for that I am creating here a level and level 2 this is my level 2 and this is my level level 1 ok guys so now uh, inside this for so int j is equal to 1 to j less than equal to 5 and j plus plus ok so now understand the working how it is work so so what I want to do here I want to write some condition here so if if i is equal to is equal to suppose uh, 3 okay and i is equal to is equal to 3 and after that and j is equal to is equal to 3 okay so if this condition is true at the time i want to break the label okay i want to break the label so for that i am writing here break and label name okay so b break and label name so which level i want to break i want to break this level one okay so l a b e level one okay so this is the same text uh, writing the working with the label for loop so it is very simple to use if you want to break here level two you can write here level two so now understand so first what it will print so it will print like that i want to show you something so you can understand and after that i will show you so first in it will print okay i have not printed anything here so what i want to do here i want to print something so after breaking here i need to print something so system dot how dot print ln okay so now it will print so what it will print what i want to print here i want to print the value of i and j okay i and j value so it will not work as like this so i comma j okay so for that purpose we need to uh, write like uh, like that one space so like that it will print the value of i and j so it is the uh, use for the space okay so how it will work so for that purpose first it will print one and one okay after that what it will print one and two okay after that one comma three at that it will print okay so now let's understand how it is work so first save this program so my class name is labeled for loop okay so Save control S level for loop 
dot java okay so my program file is saved now first compile this program first go to e drive and e drive gautam java so cd gautam java okay so after that i want to compile okay so compile which file this file l a v e l l e d label for loop okay dot java so now my program is compiled uh, uh, successfully so now run this program so l a v e l l e d label for loop okay guys now let's look the output so 11121213 okay so it will print because here it is breaking the label 1 when when i value will be 3 okay so now 1 here 2 comma 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 2 5 now now it's the interesting here okay now understand the 3 com 3 and 1 so first time it's 3 okay it is 3 so it will print 3 and i value oh sorry j value is 1 so it will j value 1 so when this condition is true that means i value is 3 and j value is 3 that time what it will do it will print and it will break not come to this statement or and this will not print anything so after that it will break so this is all about the uh, level for loop in java if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment me i will give you the suggestion and also if you have any problem you can uh, always you're welcome so you can have if you have any questions related to this topic or any logical program you can comment me i will give it the solution as soon as possible so thank you for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to visit my facebook page and blog so i hope you will enjoy this video i would like to have feedback from you so don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends so thank you guys and all the best keep watching and keep learning